Intense fighting is continuing in the Kharkiv region of Ukraine as troops attempt to regain control of the area from the Russians. It comes after Ukraine's armed forces claimed on Saturday that they had taken five villages northeast of the country's second largest city. There is concern that the Russian shelling could intensify in the run-up to Victory Day on May 9, when Russia commemorates its win over Nazi Germany in 1945. The region has been heavily targeted by Russian forces since the invasion. But a report from the Institute of the Study of War says that Ukrainian troops are now, notably, retaking territory along a broad arc around Kharkiv. It added that Ukrainian troops may be able to relieve Russian pressure on Kharkiv, and potentially threaten to make further advances to the Russian border. Hubanov Pavlo, a children's doctor in Kharkiv, told the BBC that people are still hiding in shelters and are not going to work. There is no normal life in the city, he said. Kharkiv is very close to the Russian border and so the city is constantly under attack. Unfortunately while the war continues, we cannot relax and we are constantly on alert. The shells hit our hospital several times. And now the building is destroyed and it was impossible to provide medical care there. Because Russians were shooting all the time. I am now working in another hospital, he said. On Saturday, a museum dedicated to philosopher and poet Raihori Skovoroda in Kharkiv region was confirmed to have been destroyed after Russian shelling hit the roof. Items had been removed ahead of time. Thanks for listening to this important news update. Please subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest news.